Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about avoiding those dreaded little rings that you get on your work that just make the bottom of your stomach drop out when you see them. Often with embroidery, it's necessary to treat your work with a little bit of water to remove any design marks that are still visible um, around your embroidery or any marks that might have formed when you've been working on it. An example of this that you might have seen is if you've taken our embroidery on glaze class, then you will need to remove some of the design that will be left from the dissolvable pen that the design is marked in. Or you might find that this is relevant to you if you've used dissolvable topping or backing during a project. Watermarks, therefore, can become an unavoidable foe for those in the stitching community. This tip may also be of interest to those of you who, if you're anything like me, might have a tendency to drop toothpaste down your favourite satin top when you're already dressed in the perfect outfit. So um, hopefully this will be helpful to you if either of those cases apply. Avoiding the watermark in the first place really is the best option. That doesn't mean, however, not to use water on your work to remove whatever marks you need to. So the first part of our tip is to be sparing with your water application. Most of the time you won't need to soak the whole area to get whatever the mark is out. So consider starting slowly and gently working up to what you need to. You might like to use a little earbud for this to help give you that control or a die fast piece of fabric stretched over one finger to encourage you to be sparing. Tip two, when applying the water, Try and use distilled water as it's often the mineral deposits in the tap water settling around the edge that can add the white rim to your mark. If that's not available to you, you can use tap water, but you will need to ensure that you do tip three very thoroughly. Tip three, this is the main one really, and that's to get your area to dry quickly. You can do this in one of two ways. And the fastest is likely to be by using an iron, which will be direct heat. Start on the lowest settings so that you're sure that it's not going to be too harsh and just gently work over the area until the mark disappears. As this is direct heat, make sure you're only doing this on items that can withstand the heat of an iron and do make sure of your iron settings before you begin. You'll also want to make sure that the steam function of your iron is off so that um, it's not adding any more wetness to the area. So that's our cotton example done. Absolutely fine with the iron there. However, if your example is not appropriate to using an iron because it's too delicate or perhaps it's because it's on your body, as in the case of the aforementioned toothpaste incident, then you can use a hairdryer. If you're using a hairdryer, start further away and on a cooler setting so you can be sure not to damage your piece and work up with the directness and the heat as you see the fabric react. Generally speaking, if it's too hot for your hand to be underneath, then it's going to be too hot for delicate fabrics. But just keep a close eye on it as you work on it and see how it goes. As a side note, if it's too late and you already have a watermark, then there are some things you can do. You will need to dampen the surrounding area again to help disperse the mark. So be sure just to dampen it and not re-wet the area. And so consider doing this with a cloth or some fabric and then head back to tips two and three to apply those to your piece as well. If you let everything dry and you've done tips one, two and three, and you can still see your watermark, then you may need to consider washing the whole thing. Only do this if it's safe to do so for both the fabric and the embroidery work on it. So don't consider that for techniques like gold work because you will just destroy your embroidery work. However, washing the whole piece will allow all the fibers to be fully cleansed and for the whole thing to dry evenly, getting rid of the watermarks. But this really is a last resort in my opinion. I hope that helps you out with your predicament on the three example fabrics that we've got here, which have been cotton, silk, and a polyester satin. And hopefully that will bring you one step closer to a beautiful finished piece. If you've enjoyed this pro tip, please consider giving it a like and check out the other pro tips in this series on our YouTube channel that you might also find helpful. 
or consider subscribing to the London Embroidery School channel and ringing the bell to be the first to know when we release a new video, which is at least once a week. And it might be a pro tip, a taster of one of our new online classes, a stitch along or a sneak peek into embroidery studio life. If that sounds like a bit of you, head over there and join us. Thanks for watching, have fun, stay safe and uh, keep making beautiful things.